cherry trees are just beginning to blossom. So this is when we hope that there is no foul weather, strong wing winds to blow the blossom off or frosts to freeze them. That way we'll have a cherry crop that will feed both us humans as a lovely delicious treat as well as wildlife. Birds, all kinds of birds love the cherries. So they're just beginning to bloom. The daffodils and the wooden enemies are just beginning to go over. And the bluebells, there's some lilac bluebells. They're just coming out, as well as the candelabra of the horse chestnut. They're beginning, just getting ready to bloom. This will quadruple in size. It'll end up being about that tall. So they're just coming out. The buds, the horse chestnut buds, or some of you in the USA call them uh, buckeyes. We call them horse chestnuts. But you can see the daffodils are going over. Their seed heads are formating. And there you can see the bluebells, and then these will spring up beautifully, the cow parsley. Oh, cow parsley season is so glorious. I love cow parsley season. So as the wood anemone and the daffodils slowly subside, the cow parsley, bluebells, and horse chestnuts start coming to the fore. Snowdrop season. Those are all snowdrops. Those are all snowdrops. They're all reinstigating the energy systems so that they can flower next year. Here you can see this is the beginning of the cow parsley bloom. This is very short. Usually they're up to your my hips. Tall, tall plants. And that bird is the wood pigeon. Big, huge pigeon. That coo, coo, cooing. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, you're just so excited for attention. Oh, you're just so, oh, you're so excited for attention. Yeah. And, sorry, I forgot to say, the next thing are the tulips as well. And this shed, sorry, this shed, this bed is really maturing beautifully. And these are King's Blood tulips, which I love. Uh, and I planted a whole bunch. The year I got my advance for my book, I had a lot of King's Blood and I planted somewhere else and all the squirrels saw me and they ate them all. Look, you're beating up. Your tail is beating up my tulips. Look, you've got such a whippy tail. It's beating up my tulips. Yes. So these daffodils smell delicious, by the way. But this is my kind of white, magenta, red and blue bed. So, oh, you're smelling a flower. So sweet. Now you're cruelly doing the flower. <laughs> but this has lovely flowers like these here. And then these beautiful, delicate blue things in here, which I love. So I'm hoping over time they will multiply. But they look beautiful in contrast with the magenta of the hellebore and this dark hydrangea, which I really, really love. Cheeky. You just cheeky. You've got such a flower killing tail.
You've got a murderous tail. Yes. You just want attention. Same watch. Yes. What are you eating? Oh, leftover egg. It was a broken egg I gave to the dogs. And they like even eating the eggshell. How are you? You good dog. You just look at that tail. Yeah, a flower killing tail. <laughs>